Hey folks, it's time for another CAD quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to talk to you about the file DIA command. So say for example, you know, you're working on a drawing. A lot of these civil 3D drawing files can be rather large at times. And even when you're just working towards a deadline, you know, it's, it's Friday afternoon and you're trying to meet a deadline and you're trying to make the, the client happy, but all of a sudden your CAD just blows up and it just knocks you out of CAD and you have to go through a drawing recovery. That typically happens to me whenever I'm trying to meet a deadline. Uh, CAD doesn't like to cooperate with me. And plus, when you're trying to move really, really fast between commands in Civil 3D, sometimes your computer system, for whatever reason, is a little bit ornery, doesn't like to uh, cooperate. So there are times where if, I'm, if I've just had a CAD crash and I go in to open up a file, I get this right here, enter name of drawing to open. And it's asking me for a path in order to get to a drawing that I want to open. And that's not very convenient. That's never happened to me before in the past. So how do I get around that? If I exit out of this, normally I get a, a dialog box that pops up to be able to easily open up a drawing. So what you do is you type in file, DIA, press enter, and right now it's currently set to zero. The variable is currently set to zero, but if I set that to one and press enter, and then go and open up a drawing, then I get the typical dialog box for this. So it's just a, a little thing that happens whenever you go through a CAD crash, all of a sudden CAD tends to get forgetful. So that's one way to be able to get this dialog box back. And that's file DIA and make sure the variable is set to one. That's all I have for you folks. Take care. Peace.